Hey guys, welcome to, welcome back to my channel. My name's Fox and I am so excited to be back with another Sims 4 speed building video. It's been a while, I took a little unplanned break. Um, so I do apologize for that. I will get into that in a minute. I just want to say a huge thank you for joining me today. We're building in Willow Creek. We are redoing the Spencer Kim Lewis house, which on the map is the house that's at the far back left corner. So it's that super modern, strange looking house um, that I did originally try to renovate. Um, and I spent probably a good... 15 hours renovating it and no matter what I did I just hated it so I scrapped it and then I started to just build and this house came together and I am obsessed with it so I'm super proud of this house I hope you guys like it too it is more of the I guess colonial 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 Victorian style house that I think fits in Willow Creek a little bit more. I did end up looking at a couple of reference pictures for the roof because I thought I knew what I wanted but I end up changing my mind so you'll see that the roof did change a little bit here and there is some stuff done off camera as well just to kind of cut things down a little bit because this video is another long one so again grab yourself a snack, a coffee, a tea, whatever you prefer and sit back because we're sitting at about 34 minutes without screenshots so it is a bit of a long one again um, and I need to start doing some smaller builds because these bigger ones are exhausting and doing the voiceovers does take a really long time because I am such a perfectionist I try and get it all right in the first attempt but sometimes that doesn't work so um we're doing okay today we're gonna roll with the punches and see how we go because as I said I took a unexpected break there was no videos on my channel for the last two weeks um maybe three so for those of you who don't know I am pregnant and I am expecting my second child um, which I'm very excited about however there have been some complications throughout this pregnancy and they actually found that she was measuring a little bit small um, so I've had extra monitoring and tests and I've pretty much been living at the hospital which is why there's been no content on the channel um, I haven't been able to do pretty much anything so um things are settling we're not out of the woods yet but things are settling she's just a little bit of a small a baby nothing is majorly wrong um that they can find at this point but i am actually going to be induced <laughs> in the next four to six weeks which is terrifying um, and a bit exciting at the same time because we get to meet her a little bit sooner so yeah it's probably gonna be a bit quiet on my channel moving forward um, just with having new baby settling into routine I did set myself a goal this year that I wanted to upload weekly on the channel and it was doing really well um, up until this point but I think um, I'm just going to give it give it my best shot and see how much content I can actually produce. But you guys have been super supportive, um, all of you that follow me on Instagram and the sort of gaming community that I come from over there. You guys are amazing and just wonderful and supportive and lovely and I cannot thank you all enough for being so patient with me. But um yeah getting on to talking about the build today 
Um, as you can see, the shape of the house has come together. The color scheme has come together. I didn't do anything super special with it. We just went for a red brick and a white sliding with some windows that have black shutters on them to kind of go with the darker roof. And I think that it's kind of elegant and I don't know, a little bit sophisticated, I guess, which is what I kind of wanted to go for with this one. Um, I've kind of given the family, the Spencer Kim Lewis family, a bit of a makeover and given some of them jobs because I don't know how they were able to afford this house when none of them are employed. So um, I do imagine this to be Eric's house and he's had his mother, is it Vivian? I think it's Vivian, move in um, with him, his wife. Alice and their daughter Olivia and then Alice's father is also moved in as well so there is a little bit of um, personality for all of them throughout the build um, I cannot remember Alice's dad's name but he's very into gardening so we do include some planter pots out here I imagine that Eric's mum is very into cooking so the kitchen's very set around sort of her um, and like her personality and then obviously um, they all have their bedrooms which are very heavily decorated so I did try and turn back on the decorations in this one because I didn't want it to be too overkill but um, I think that it just turned out really nice as I said I really do enjoy this one I'm really happy with how it turned out it <laughs> looks much better than what was here before in my humble opinion um, and the modern house that I was trying to sort of renovate prior to to building this was um it just felt really out of place it didn't feel like it fit in this neighborhood at all so I'm much more happy with how this one turned out but yeah we have moved on to the landscaping and again I, I love the landscaping of this one it come together pretty quickly um, we kind of go for like a pink red orange sort of theme I guess um, I just wanted it to feel really natural and a bit like mix matchy I guess because not every house has the same colored plants over and over again so I do try and get some different I guess variation with the plants by adding some orange and some red and use I try to use a lot of base game as well um, because obviously this is built in a base game world, but this pack, this pack, <laughs> this build is not pack restricted by any means. I do use the full catalog um, and I use it quite heavily. Um, I will be doing some more base game builds um, in the future as well, because you guys really liked the last one that I did. And speaking of the last video that I did, the werewolf family home, I just want to thank you guys so much for the love and support that you have shown that video. Um, the amount of li likes and views that I've been getting on the channel recently has been incredible and I'm super, super thankful. So if you are one of those people that have liked, commented, subscribed, or watched any of my content, thank you so much. Um, it really does kind of just motivate me I guess to continue building and continue uploading on the channel. I love making videos and I love building in The Sims so it's nice to know that people are enjoying the things that I'm creating and it's just kind of a little bit more of a motivation booster as well to keep going um, and to try and upload as much as I can so definitely do appreciate all the support it's kind of a little bit shocking I hadn't checked how things were going over the last few weeks um just been focusing on baby and everything like that but I checked this morning and it's just yeah the numbers on my channel have just skyrocketed so thank you so much for that guys um again I really do appreciate it but I gotta stop rambling now and start talking about what I'm actually doing here. So we have moved into the backyard landscaping. You'll see that I did do some stuff off camera um, with the playground um, 
area for Olivia. And the reason for that was because is because I just had no idea what I was going to do. I originally wanted the backyard to be a bit more structured. Um, and I wanted to use more of the fences to kind of separate the areas, but it just wasn't working. I actually really struggle with backyards and back gardens quite a lot, um, because I just don't know what to put in them. So I did some of it off camera. I hope you guys don't mind, but out here we do have a, quite a nice swimming pool uh, with a diving board and some of the floaties. We have a swing set, a monkey bars jungle gym thing and a doll dollhouse <laughs> i think it's a dollhouse is it a dollhouse yes it is a dollhouse I, th I thought i put the toy box but it's a dollhouse um i use the sand where you can build sand castles and things like that as well just as an extra thing to do we have some lounge chairs we also have some planter pots as i said for alice's dad i cannot remember his name you'll have to forgive me but we do have some planter pot pots planter boxes out here for him because he loves gardening um and in the original build he had like his own little garden so um i thought i would include one here it's obviously not as extravagant as he had before but I think that it's nice but yeah we also have a little barbecue area by the pool which I think is really nice and then on the bottom patio I get a chess table I believe and on the top I do put a easel and another lounge chair up there so I think it's Alice is really into art and I think she has the painter extraordinaire aspiration so I wanted to include a little easel for her outside but yeah I'm I'm happy with how this garden turned out overall I think the backyard is probably one of mm, the better ones that I've done because as I said I really struggle with them um I never really know what to do so um this one just kind of end up coming together quite nicely and I am super happy with it but we will be moving on inside and starting to do the very large interior so in this house we have four bedrooms three bedrooms four bedrooms <laughs> and four five bathrooms i think i'm not sure it's actually been a while since i built this um i did build this before going into hospital um so it's taken me a really long time to edit and just get motivated to kind of come back to, into editing and recording and just the whole youtube thing um it's really weird once you take like a break just finding the like motivation to get back into it can be quite difficult and editing videos is probably my least favorite part just the way that I edit so it's been a little bit of time since I've actually seen this house but on the bottom floor we get a living room kitchen dining we get a study which or an office which is Eric's in my mind I designed it for Eric we have Eric and Alice's bedroom with their ensuite, we have a main bathroom and a laundry room. Um, and I think we have like a little sunroom. So we start off in the living room. This is probably my hundredth attempt at the living room. I really struggled with what kind of, I guess, design I was going to go for. I wanted it to be sort of classic and sophisticated, um, but still feel like welcoming and homey. So the color scheme was a bit difficult to get together and you'll see it is very brown and I will admit that the house does stay pretty brown <laughs> it is um a very sort of like warm wood toned house but I think that it works I quite like it I quite enjoy it I'm not super comfortable with this style so this was another challenge for me to like step out of my comfort zone and um, 
try a different sort of style so you'll also see me using the tool mod um again not the best with the tool mod i think i've said that before in a previous video but i am getting better um there are certain features of it that i just do not use because i cannot work it out but for sizing up and sizing down photos and things like that i'm obsessed with it i think that it just opens up a whole new like world um of like abilities just to decorate um and certain objects just become a little bit more versatile and a little bit more useful so again super happy with it use it multiple times throughout this one i think i cut out some footage of me using it here and there just because i don't want to bore you guys but yeah the living space comes together quite easily and quite well um I do believe I add a TV back above the fireplace. Um, I did originally think of adding one there and then I took it away because I didn't think it fit. But I do believe I add one back up there. Um, otherwise there is actually one in Eric and Alice's bedroom, um, which is by their fireplace because they kind of have like a little living space. But this is one of the hallways. Um, I think I include all of the hallways in this video but i did cut out all of the bathrooms except for the main bathroom with the washer and dryer and that was just because again the video is a super long video and i didn't want you guys to be sitting here for 45 50 minutes watching me decorate bathrooms so there are screenshots at the end obviously of all the bathrooms and rooms so um if you want to see them stick around to the end because i do include screenshots of everything but yeah this room here is kind of like the back door sitting room stairs kind of room i wanted like a grand entrance but with the the shape and the the way the house was sort of laid out it didn't really work the way I thought it would so I decided to just make it sort of like a sitting room um, or like I guess like a little mud room quite like type thing but I don't know it's kind of one of those rooms where if you wanted to add some skill building items you definitely could because the items that are in there are kind of pointless not pointless but like unnecessary items so they're just they'd be easy to replace with like a keyboard or something else if you wanted to but we have moved on into the dining room and I really do enjoy how this room turned out um dining rooms are kind of all the same for me table chairs rug side tables um a comfy chair in the corner <laughs> just kind of very simple and um basic but I quite like how this one turned out I think it fits the house really well um and yeah there's not really much more to say about this one but um i do just want to say i am super excited for the next expansion pack like i am so excited and for the infant update uh, as of the time of me recording this we've got like five days left before infants which is super super exciting um i've watched all like the live streams and been keeping up with all of the news and the new expansion pack growing together comes out on the 16th which is only a couple days after the infant update and i did pre-order that the day that it was available because i am that excited sims 3 generations was one of my favorite favorite games um growing up and so for me this is just like the best the best thing so i'm so excited so i have a lot of family like homes and like family gameplay lots that I am wanting to build. So I'm hoping that I get to do a few of those before baby comes. Um, so hopefully you will see some more of those on the channel. Um, and yeah, hopefully you guys are excited too. I think that it's going to be one of the best expansion packs yet. And like I have very high expectations. So hopefully... I'm not let down <laughs> and hopefully I haven't got my expectations too high but just from what I've seen from all the like the even the leaks and stuff that have come out 
with what's going to be in the pack. It's just super exciting and I honestly just cannot wait. So counting down the days until they are released. I like, I want to build like a park. Um, I want to redo Willow Creek Park and I've been wanting to do that for a while. I've built it, uh, built it, I've <laughs> rebuilt it before, I guess, um, which is up on my gallery if you were interested in that one. But I'd like to redo it again. It's been quite a long time since I've done it. And I think that with all the new gameplay features and items like the splash pads and the bikes and the tree house and everything that we're getting, it's just going to make the ability to build a really nice park a lot easier. So super excited for that. Um, so stay tuned because hopefully that will come out shortly after the pack is released. But I do have a couple of other builds that I am sort of working on editing that I built prior to my little break. Um, so they should be coming soon. One is a little bit of a, a shorter one. And then I actually have a Tudor style mansion that it will be coming soon. And that has got about 18 hours of raw footage that I am currently trying to edit my way through. Um, so please be patient with that one because I do not know how long it's going to actually take me to get through it. But, um, that is in Windenburg and I, it's one of, again, one of my favorite builds. Every build that I do is one of my favorite builds, but, um, the ones that I've done recently, I just feel like they're just, I'm just finding my groove. So, um, yeah, I've been really happy with with how they've been turning out. But this is the kitchen. You'll see I just talked over pretty much all of it. Um, again, with the brown theme, just sort of like the warm tones and just trying to make it feel really homey and lived in, but not overly cluttered because I just didn't think that it was necessary. But I do imagine Vivian being in here and cooking for the family a lot um, and making coffees and, and things like that. So. That's why I added all these sort of like older details, not older details, but some of the like country kitchen kit and cottage living things that kind of had that like little grandma vibe, I guess. Um, so I added those in there just to kind of give a nod that it's more her kitchen because I don't think that Alice would be in the kitchen a lot. So she has her own art studio upstairs. So I think that she would be there more often than downstairs. I think grandma would do most of the cooking in this one. So this is the bathroom, the one bathroom that I show. All the other bathrooms are pretty much identical, um, except for having, I guess, some more personalized items like bathrobes and things like that in them. Um, it is a full bathroom with the washer and dryer, which would be a little bit weird um not for like gameplay for gameplay it'll work fine but I guess in real life it'd be a bit weird to have a shower in the laundry I don't know is that weird that would be weird to for like where I'm from that would be weird I don't think that that would happen but I do know in some places there's the washing machine is in the kitchen sometimes um so I don't know let me know if you have where you're from you can have the washing machine or dryer in the bathroom because I don't actually think I've seen a house like that we usually have separate laundry rooms here so but it it works in the sims so I just I just went with it so yeah if you don't like it you guys can change it if you decide to download this build and play in it um, change whatever you need to to make it suit the family that you have in mind or to be your personal style. But yeah, we have moved on to the only bedroom downstairs. This is Eric and Alice's bedroom. Um, it is the master suite, although all of the rooms in this build are quite large um, and they all have an ensuite. So um, yeah, for gameplay, like it's, like the perfect house because each like person gets their own bathroom space so there'll be no fighting over showers and things like that which is always helpful I found when you're actually playing not that I do a lot of gameplay but 
in the gameplay that I have done, it's always helpful to have more bathrooms than you have Sims. So try to include as many as I can, but I just cut them out of the footage because I didn't want to decorate five bathrooms on camera, but <laughs> you'll see me here just cluttering up the counter and the side tables. I'm um, just getting some jewelry and makeup and little things like that um, for Alice and just some personal care items for Eric. Um, we have again the fireplace and the TV with the two chairs. Um, I have to play test this build again before I upload it to the gallery. Um, I did play test it once I built it but I want to play test it again because I have a feeling that I need to remove one of the armchairs um, in this bedroom. So if you download it and that is different, that should be the only thing that changes because I'm just not sure that the Sims will be able to navigate their way past the bed. But this is the room next door, which I designed for Eric's office. Um, you could use it for anyone though. It is the only computer. It is the only computer. It has the only computer in the whole build um, in this room. I also get a chess table and I think that's it for like skill building. I think I just put some bookcases and a chess table in here um, with some decorations and the computer. Um, I kind of think that Eric would be like in the businessman, business person career, or maybe like a lawyer or something. He would have to have quite a well-paying, sophisticated kind of job um, to be able to afford this house. So I haven't given him a job yet, but um, I've given the others a job. So I made Alice a painter. I made Vivian a head chef, um, but I think I'm going to make her retired. And I made Alice's dad a retired gardener. So just not sure what I'm going to do with Eric, but they will all have jobs um, in my version of their family because they just wouldn't be able to afford this house otherwise. So it doesn't make any sense. But we have moved on upstairs. Again, we're just doing this little landing space. There's nothing fancy out here. It's just kind of like a sitting room. And then we move on to Alice's little art studio so I think this is probably one of my favorite rooms um it doesn't really I don't think it really fits in with the style of the rest of the house but I think that's okay for for this kind of space because I just fill it with different canvases and different plants and um I think that she would be like a bit of a green thumb as well from her father so she has a lot of plants in here um and a lot of just different artworks and scrap paintings and stuff on the the walls um because yeah she loves paintings so I thought I would give her her own private little space I usually include an art easel in every build because it is an easy money making thing but I don't really do like little art studios like this so I was super excited to to do this room and I think I kind of um maybe went a little bit overboard with it but I think it turned out well and you guys will have to excuse me as well my nose has decided that um it's going to be a bit blocked today so um you'll have to excuse my voice i'm a bit nasally i spent the morning at my eldest daughter's sports carnival so i've been outside all morning and now i'm back inside in the warmth and my nose has just decided to um block up but <laughs> we are reaching the end of the build we are in the child sim olivia's bedroom here um i imagine her being a little bit more of like a preteen, i guess so um i kind of included some elements of like child sim um and also i guess like teen sim with like the double bed the desk um and just things like that as well as like the mirror and you know they're not things that child sims really need or anything like that, but um, I just felt like she was more of, of a preteen. I know we don't have preteens and I know we're not getting them, at least not like not anywhere soon um, or in the near future, I guess is what I was trying to say. Um, but if we did, I think that she definitely would be one. But 
Yeah, her room's very pink, very princessy. Uh, she's the only child in this family. So she would be spoiled by all of them, especially because they are supposed to be a little bit wealthy. So I kind of just went a little bit all out in her room. We get a dollhouse, a toy box. We get the unicorn toy. I think I put the bunny toy in here as well. There is an art table, like the kids creativity table because her mum's an artist. So she would have picked up some of those traits as well. I didn't really think too much of her personality. She's just a child sim at this point in the game. There's not really much for them to do other than be kids. So I think she's probably a popular kid um, and has lots of friends and loves reading and just is a bit of a girly girl, loves art. So just tried to show as much personality as I could without thinking too much about the personality because I don't know, there's just, up until this point, children haven't really had much personality in the game. So I'm hoping with this new expansion pack that's coming that we get some more life into our child sims and that there's more for them to do. Um, I know, I think they're, I don't know, but I think that they're able to do sleepovers and stuff in this new pack, which I'm super excited for. So hopefully there's a bit more diversity. Um, I know that with the update, I think it's with the update, they're adding like preferences with like conversation topics and just they're deepening relationships and things like that. Um, which is super exciting. So hopefully with that, there comes more personality with our child sims and we can add a bit more into, into their storyline. But moving on, this be becomes, this room here is Vivian's room. Um, it is probably a little bit more on the lighter side of furniture. Like I kind of go with the cream sort of tones and I did change the wallpaper up off camera to be this more like white and cream. I think it suits her a little bit better. She's probably a bit sophisticated and elegant and I don't know, I love that sim so much. So I wanted her to have like a really nice room to kind of go along with what I envisioned for her. So she has a fireplace. She has a little armchair with some knitting um, items from the Nifty Knitting pack. I think that's a stuff pack and just some basic care items on her side table um, and I pop a little tea set and stuff up on her fireplace. So it is quite a simple room but I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, it's probably, I think it's like one of my favorite bedrooms. I don't know why, it's, I just I think it's the color scheme but moving on this is the final bedroom that I show on camera and this is Alice's dad's bedroom. I cannot remember his name and I feel so bad. Um, but I go for this kind of blue and brown theme, uh, keeping with the warm wood tones and just adding the pops of blue with the wallpaper, the bed spread and the curtains. And in here, I add like a bookcase, a, a little seat and lots of plants because again, he is a retired gardener in my mind and he is a plant lover um, and he loves gardening. So I just tried to include as many plant related items as I could. But yeah, this is the end of the video today. So thank you so much if you did stick around for the whole 34 minutes of it. If you want to download this one, it will be on the gallery. My ID is at Arcade Fox. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.